Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the singing of the national anthem by Christina Brennan. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the Thank you, Christina. Good evening. Welcome to our school committee members, Chairman and Representative from Situate, John Manning, Vice Chairman, Representative from Cohasset, Kenneth Thayer, Abington Representative, Adele Leonard, Hanover Representative, Robert Haywood, Hanson Representative, Chris Miko, Norwell Representative, Robert Mola, and Whitman Representative, Daniel Salvucci. Welcome and thank you also to the members of our Parents Association and our School Council who are present in the audience this evening. I would like to offer a special recognition and thank you to my secretary, Mary Lou Merrick, who will retire this year. Mary Lou has been the custodian and the guardian of this graduation ceremony for many years, beginning the process each July and ending with the graduation ceremony in June. Her service to the district has been invaluable, and she will be missed. Superintendent Hickey, faculty, parents, families, friends, all returning alumni, welcome to the commencement of South Shore Vocational Technical High School, class of 2014. The senior show has come and gone, shop projects done and graded, the co-op papers all complete, the notebooks worn and faded. At Skills USA, you competed to win, and you came away with gold. At BPA, you won again, with more awards to hold. The odd couple ran with rave reviews, the actors skilled and steady. The talent show was again a hit, with performers polished and ready. The basketball season was a dream, showing talent, skill, and sportsmanship. It ended as all season should with the Mayflower Small League Championship. <laughs> the lacrosse team had a historic run, and they showed their Viking pride. They came away as the vocational league champs with our community by their side. a class full of personality, charm, and wit, 
Of that you can be sure. You filled our halls with smiles and laughter. We could have asked you for no more. There were some ups, there were some downs, the road in life unclear. Some friends were made and some friends were lost, but still you persevere. The graduation programs printed, the gowns are cleaned and pressed, all the parties have been planned, no detail has been missed. So go forward now and greet the world with a cheering crowd. Congratulations, class of 2014. We know you'll make us proud. <laughs> At this time, please join me in welcoming to the podium Dr. Thomas J. Hickey, Superintendent Director of the South Shore Regional School District. Thank you, Mrs. Dutch, Poet Laureate. Good evening, students, parents, faculty members, families, staff members, members of the South Shore Regional School Committee. Welcome to tonight's graduation ceremony for South Shore Vogue Tech's class of 2014. Tonight, let me begin with a small expression of gratitude to all of the parents and extended family members. Thank you for trusting us with your children and for working with our teachers and administrators, counselors, coaches, and support staff to deliver this remarkable graduating class. The love and pride you have for your children, our graduates, is evident in your faces tonight. And graduates, I know you will join me in thanking our staff for their contribution to your success. Many of our faculty and staff are here tonight. They have given their time and their talents to take you as far as you have wanted to go with your high school experience, and sometimes even further than you may have expected. They never let you cut corners. They set high standards, and they have prepared you well they are an amazing and dedicated group, and I ask that you join me in thanking them now. So to begin my remarks tonight, please note that I will not be encouraging anyone to be perfect. And I will not talk about the importance of winning or being the best. Now, parents, please do not find me in September and ask me to get your kid off the futon in the basement because of this speech, okay? Just hear me out. You see, I'm not gonna talk about striving to be the best because there isn't much more to be said about it. I'm sure that you would agree that it's human nature to wanna to be the best, to be perfect in some way, and to be recognized for it. I think as a society, we're obsessed with showering attention on winners and labeling and separating those who are the best from those who are not. Look no further than all of the reality shows and the contests and the sports hype on television. Even here at South Shore, we have our own weighty, grueling contest known as the senior superlatives. But if, we, but if all we ever focus on are the first place stories, being the best, and perfection itself, we risk ignoring other equally important stories that may never make life's highlight real. I do not want to ignore those stories. Ladies and gentlemen, our graduates have such amazing accomplishments that could fill an entire evening. But alas, if I only focus on winning, then I, I couldn't tell you the story of James Aguiar. I, I couldn't praise James because he only came in second place in the nation for the Skills USA national competition as a junior. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, we can't, we, we, we can't do that. James didn't win, it's a fact. But you see, that outcome does not tell James's whole story and it does not define him or his future potential. 
course, if we're only focused on being the best, then we couldn't really talk about, as Mrs. Dutch indicated earlier, that our volleyball, our basketball, and our lacrosse teams fought so hard to earn their way into their respective MIAA state tournaments. And if I waste any time at all dwelling on perfection, then I would not be able to tell you the story of Joe Mochio. Where's Joe? Joe Mochio. He entered his senior year never having missed a day of high school, never having been tardy. Oh, no, 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 remember. But you see, all that changed. All that changed on January 13th, 2014, because on that day, Joe missed school to go enlist in the military. It was a co-op day. He had made the proper arrangements with his employer. He told the school. And then he later made up those hours over the Martin Luther King weekend. And while it was an excused absence, it was still an absence which ruined a perfect streak for Joe. In the back of Joe's mind, going to enlist that day meant he was giving something up. That something was attaining the goal of having four years of perfect attendance. So I guess by that standard, Joe is less than perfect. He, <laughs> he had better attendance than me. So, <laughs> so, so what do you think happened after Joe missed that day with his streak broken? Nothing. Joe's mindset remained the same. He never missed another day. He was never late. Failing to earn the perfect attendance award had no negative impact on Joe. Can you imagine the pressure Come on, Joe, it's senior skip day. <laughs> Where was Joe Mochio on senior skip day? You got it, he was at school. That's right. <laughs> Joe had so many reasons to wrap himself in comfortable, soothing excuses. I'm a senior, I don't have perfect attendance anymore. I get good grades, so what's the big deal? Who cares if I come in late? Joe cared. Because the essence of Joe's story is that he lives what he values. Every day, some tougher than others, Joe came to school or went to his co-op job. Joe's intrinsic motivation was not tied to an award. His character, his commitment, his work ethic did not waver. He made no excuses and just went right back to doing what he had been doing, going to school and learning, going to work and learning more. Joe's quiet commitment reminds me that we need to spend less time on rewarding perfection and more time celebrating professionalism and perseverance. So here's the truth as I see it. We do very few things in our lives perfectly. Being a perfect parent is a fiction. Ask my own kids, they'll tell you. Being a perfect teenager is an oxymoron. <laughs> I've talked to your parents, that's what they tell me. However, if we gave up every time we fell short of perfection, if we allow our imperfections to feed a fear of failure, if we listen to the voices of self-doubt, then our true potential might never reveal itself. So graduates, you must decide right now, before going any further, how you plan to deal with life's stumbles, the almosts, the I can'ts, the losses, the second places, the failures. I ask you to consider that each time we fall short, Within that experience, we will find the seeds of improvement, the promise of second chances, and the joys of our next accomplishment. 
And if you don't believe me, just ask James Aguirre, because what I didn't tell you was that he is headed back to the Skills USA national competition once again to compete for the gold medal. So tonight, I congratulate this graduating class, which is full of good people like Joe and James, young men and women of good character who don't quit, who don't make excuses, and who aren't distracted by the false trap of perfection or bust. I thank you all for the power of your example, for moving forward despite shortcomings and stumbles. All of your stories make this a perfect night. I am so very proud of you. Thank you. Student body president, Peyton Brown, can always be counted on for her energy and enthusiasm. At the Skills USA competition in the spring, Peyton was the first one on the dance floor, encouraging her classmates to join in. For the past two years, Peyton has served as the student representative to the school committee, where she has kept everyone up to date on the events and happenings at South Shore. In the fall, Peyton is headed to college to study interior design. Please welcome to the podium, student body president, Peyton Brown. Well, we finally made it to graduation day. We've made it through, and I'm sure we're all ready to be done and move on. I just ask that you don't try and grow up too fast. It already seems like last year we were freshmen, and just a couple years before that we were starting first grade. The years went by so fast, and I'm sure I'm not the only one who wishes they were slower. To put into perspective, first grade, 2002, was 11 years ago. We were just seven years old, and our biggest problems were getting picked last for, re for football during recess. Jimmy Neutron aired on Nickelodeon for the first time. Finding Nemo came into theaters, and The Lord of the Rings Return of the King won its record-breaking 11 Oscars. It seems only a few years ago I went to see that with my dad and my brother, not 11. Then middle school, 2008, we were 11 years old. We were just getting used to switching classes that were right next door memorizing our locker combinations, and changing for gym. All those huge moments seem like silly milestones now, but they were big deals. And just to keep the trend going, The Dark Knight and Twilight came into theaters that year, which started the war of Edward versus Jacob. <laughs> Freshman year, 2010, we were 14. We made it through puberty and made the choice to come to this new school and separate from our old friends. We traveled through exploratory and met all kinds of new people and sometimes scary juniors. I still laugh about all the stupid things we said and did during that first year, but we all made friends we'll have for the rest of our lives. Now we're here, 2014, at 17, 18, even 19 years old, ready to graduate and reminiscing on all the good or bad times we've had over the years. 12 years ago, we embarked on this journey that's finally coming to an end and it seems only yesterday it all began. Now we're moving on, and these next few years we're going to be waiting for things to happen. 2017 to turn 21. 2020 to travel the world. 2022 to get married and have kids. Our kids will be moving just as fast as we did, and before you know it, they'll be graduating high school. So just slow down. Don't rush for things to happen. Take your time and enjoy the little things and let life come to you. Have fun and go party. Hang out with your friends, explore the world, love and live, make mistakes and learn. Sorry. There's plenty of time to be an adult when you're wicked old and 30. <laughs> like my mom always used to tell me whenever I was stressed. There's plenty of time to do everything you need to do. This helped me in so many ways, and I think if we all just take a deep breath, we'll find there's plenty of time to reach our goals and fulfill all our dreams. So let's hurry up and graduate. 
just so we can take our time and live. Thank you. Thank you, Peyton. The senior class president, Jacob Hyde, has been a dynamic presence during the past four years. In addition to class president, Jacob was the student representative to the school council and assisted in the development of the school improvement plan. In a nod to his engaging personality, Jacob was the driving force behind the talent show at South Shore. In the fall, Jacob is headed to college to study architecture. Please welcome to the podium, senior class president, Jacob Hyde. You guys will excuse me for a sec, sorry. It's water under here. Okay. I like to write stories, I really do. I enjoy writing, I enjoy presenting. And a fair amount of my teachers have told me I'm relatively good at it. But for some strange reason, when it came to writing this speech, I couldn't quite think of anything <laughs> substantial. I mean, the first couple of drafts I wrote were okay, but they were all sort of empty sounding. I mean, I thought for hours of what a graduation speech should be. The movies tell us they're supposed to be full of promise and future oriented and the sky's the limit type stuff, but I thought of something. How are you supposed to look towards your future when you're trying so hard to forget your past? I understand as much as the next guy how badly we just wanted to start our cars, drive out of that student lot for the very last time, and forget about SSVT for the rest of our natural lives. But how can you do that when you became who you became here? High school, in all honesty, is one big science experiment. I mean, think about it. They all put us into a building. Let's see how they interact, they say. I mean, sure, they teach us something while they're at it, but that's not why we're here. I mean, how many times have you sat in algebra and said, oh my god, I'm never ever going to use this again. They know that. <laughs> it's the experiment of it all. How else are we supposed to become responsible adults? Think about your own transformation. You can't just forget about the place that you've called home over the past four years. And why we're so eager to get out there into the real world is something that baffles me still. And I think it comes from a lack of understanding of what the real world is really like. Guys, our early 20s are going to be so horrible. <laughs> well, I'll be broke, no question about it. You'll be up to your neck in student loan payments and probably flunk a few classes along the way. And those who aren't going to college, you'll be hired and fired and hired and fired again. <laughs> all adding to the rocky road that will only be early adulthood. Of course, if you're joining our nation's service, uh, that's a different future altogether. Can we have a round of applause for those who are joining our military, please? Your country thanks you. But other than them, it's not a glamorous place to be, this real world. And I was thinking about this on my computer in my room. And I was thinking about how tragic it was that this grand experiment of high school was coming to an end. But then I thought about all of you and what all of you are going to accomplish someday. I mean, you may not all like me, but I, I love all of you. And I look at all of you, and I know that you're going to do something great. <laughs> and when we do do that something great, we'll actually want to come back. And brag about it, you know? <laughs> Guess who just engineered their own software company? Fred Cruz. Way to go. <laughs> Rachel Milan becoming a world-renowned baker? Who would have thunk? She still made the best cupcakes I've ever had. But James Aguirre will... Well, I don't really know what he's going to do, but I'm sure he'll win a medal for it. <laughs> Ryan Hottenrod will become a world-famous drummer turned music producer extraordinaire. Christine Getchell will finally write that best-selling novel. Trevor McKinnon will one day pull me over on the highway, state cruiser and all. 
Justin Bonitatibus will be covered head to toe in medals, let's hope. CJ Grazioso will feel the need to call me up and tell me that drafting is a useless profession. <laughs> Kaylee McKenney will be on the world famous team that finds the cure for cancer. And Peyton Brown will have the highest rated interior design show in HGTV history. <laughs> we'll all want to come back to SSVT to tell our stories. I hope those same stories take you miles and miles and miles away from this place, but no matter how far you, away you drive, high school, this school, will always be in your rear view. Now, I know we're all getting a little bit antsy. Jake, shut up. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I, I'd be a fool while I was up here not to take advantage of this. I just have to tell you guys something, okay? 20 years from now, you're going to get a nice piece of embroidered cardstock in the mail. Assume it's from me, and assume it's an invitation to this reunion, okay? Bring a spouse if you happen to have one, bring pictures of your children if you happen to have them, and uh, smiles, guys, please, photographers will be there. I mean, you might have to take the entire month off work, because I'll probably change the date a few times. <laughs> and God knows, Mike Perry will try to have his own the week before. But regardless, we will have one eventually, I swear. And if any of you, any of you, fail to RSVP on time, I will send you email after colorful email over and over and over again until you do. Got it? Good. Thank your parents, thank your teachers, mom and dad, love you guys, thank you. Thank you, Jake. Our, our valedictorian, Kimberly Cadero, has set an example for her classmates with her academic and technical achievements. A member of the Drama Club and the president of the National Honor Society, Kim is headed to college in the fall to study electrical engineering. Please welcome valedictorian of the class of 2014, Kimberly Cadero. everyone. I'd like to take a moment to thank all the students, teachers, and family, member that, family members that have shown up today to support our class of 2014 on this beautiful day. <laughs> it is a huge, huge honor to be speaking here today as South Shore Votex valedictorian. And I really mean that. I'm not just saying it. I almost didn't end up getting to give a speech because I had a pretty hard time writing it. Senioritis kicked in around halfway through junior year, and I kept thinking how funny it was that after working hard to become valedictorian, my reward is more work, writing the speech and some public speaking at the end of it. After Mr. Scopoletti's class, though, I feel like I could survive anything. All my teachers throughout my years at South Shore Votech have helped me prepare for the future in countless ways and helped me study the things that I was actually interested in. Um, like, for instance, quick shout out to the Drama Club, who've been amazing these past four years, the heads Mr. Bova, Mr. Savage, and Mrs. Smith, who Mrs. Smith started the Drama Club 22 years ago. Um, she's been with it ever since. <laughs> She's been amazing and inspiring. She won the Best Actress Award last year, and she's finally retiring this, retiring this year. So thank you, Mrs. Smith. <laughs> Another example is Mrs. Palmer. <laughs> I've never met a math teacher that loved their subject as much as Mrs. Palmer does. Her love for it was really inspiring and made me want to learn that much more. She also taught us how to iron and sew and stuff. It was a weird math class. <laughs> Thanks, Mama Pama. <laughs> 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 
though I've had amazing experiences during my high school career, many people have questioned the education system in the past. The 43rd President of the United States, George W. Bush, once said, rarely is the question asked, is our children learning? <laughs> I can assure you that at the South Shore Votech, our children is learning. <laughs> Along with math, English, science, and history, South Shore Votech students are given a unique opportunity to learn trade skills that many people pay tens of thousands of dollars to learn. We have so many people doing amazing things, like, as we've mentioned, James Aguirre going to statewide and even national competitions. <laughs> showcasing skills we've learned at South Shore Votech. We have females like myself and Christina Brennan here going into male-dominated fields. Students like Courtney Hanlon and Rob Richardson going directly into the armed forces. <laughs> others are going directly to work and many others like the five of us that are up on stage here all taking the expensive route and going to college. Wherever we may be tomorrow, so much of our hard work has all led up to this day. Our graduation robes are a symbol of our success, which is strange since usually if I was wearing a robe at 6 p.m., it'd mean I'd given up. <laughs> our robes, however, show that we were able to excel in both academics and our shops. Along the way, we've all had some failures, but it's not failure if you learn from it and use it to make you stronger. Do you know how many times Thomas Edison screwed up while trying to make the light bulb? Or how many mixtapes Soldier Boy had to release before having a hit song? <laughs> a quote about this that really hits home for me goes, the more time you spend contemplating what you should have done, you lose valuable time planning what you can and will do. So I'd like to thank Kanye West for those inspiring words. <laughs> Class of 2014, if we persevere and never give up, maybe we can be like Kanye West too. <laughs> Especially Christina Brennan. That national anthem was top notch. <laughs> It is an honor for me to be graduating here with the mechanics, five-star cooks, graphic designers, electricians, and hip-hop artists of the future. And for that, I say thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Kim. At this time, we would like to announce the Outstanding Vocational Awards. So I would welcome to the podium Deborah Collins, Vocational Director. Good evening. Will you look all grown up? As I read the Outstanding Vocational Awards, please stand. Outstanding Award in Auto Body Mechanic, Eric Gorman. <laughs> Outstanding Award for Automotive Mechanic, Stephen Courage. Outstanding Award, Carpenter, Daniel Sheehan. Outstanding Award, Cosmetologist, Taylor Dadinsky. Outstanding Award, Culinary Artist, Rachel Milan. <laughs> Out
Outstanding Award Draftsman, Jacob Hyde. Outstanding Award Electrician, William Gurney. Outstanding Award Electronics Technician, Taylor Martin. Excuse me, Tyler Martin. Yeah, I just screwed up. I'm not perfect either. <laughs> Outstanding Award Graphic Artist, Stephanie Donovan. Outstanding Award, Allied Health Technology, Jessica Laxko. <laughs> HIVAC Technician, Christopher DeRussia. <laughs> Outstanding Award, Metal Fabricationer, Welder, Robert Figgins. <laughs> Outstanding Award Machinist, Robert Richardson. <laughs> physical Outstanding Award for Physical Fitness, Corey Fitzgerald. <laughs> Outstanding student, James Agua. <laughs> and lastly, outstanding attendance, Joseph Mokio. Thank you, Mrs. Collins. Next, we would like to award the scholarships, and for that, we would like to bring Mr. Aubrey to the podium. Hold on a second, I had to sing earlier. I know, of course. Once again, please stand when I call your name. Quick Auto Body Award, Daniel Akavati. <laughs> Vikings Athletic Association, James Agua. <laughs> Bernadette and Robert Ferguson Award, Joshua Perry Memorial Scholarship, Kylie Bannister. The Dean Van Meter Memorial Scholarship, Caitlin Boyle. The Walnut Hill Garden Club, Helena Quilty Scholarship, SSVT Parents Association Scholarship, Ms. Christina Brennan. Teachers Federation Scholarship, Rockland Hanson Rotary Scholarship, SSVT Parents Association Scholarship, Ms. Peyton Brown. <laughs> the Rockland Youth Football Scholarship and the Walter J. Byrne Memorial Scholarship, Renee Burnett. The Frederick J. Teed Memorial Scholarship, Deanna Canada. The William O. Grout Scholarship, Brittany Chalmers. The Patrick W. Skinner Memorial Scholarship, Mike Cook.
the Betty Guilfoyle Memorial Scholarship, Ms. Kimberly Cordero. The Air Gas East Award, Patrick Crowley. <laughs> Teachers Federation Scholarship, Mr. Stephen Curtis. <laughs> SSVT Parents Association Scholarship, Mr. Patrick Daly. The Matthew Clancy Memorial Scholarship, the Jennifer Verrett Dumit Scholarship, Courtney Davio. <laughs> the Bernadette and Robert Ferguson Award, the SSVT Parents Association Award, Massachusetts Elk Scholarship, Brendan DeLima. Phoenix Mason Lodge, Frank DeFazio. The Joshua Perry Memorial Scholarship, Kayla Dockendorf. The Thomas Majerick Memorial Scholarship, the Ann Hordy Memorial Scholarship, and the Rockland Teen Center Scholarship, Joseph Dracchio. The Teachers' Federation Scholarship, Robert, Robert Figgins III. The Lawrence M. Melfi Memorial Scholarship, Lucas Goodwin. Quick Auto Body Award, Eric Gorman. The Joseph A. Prolio Memorial Scholarship, Christopher Grazioso. Andrew C. Lenahan Memorial Scholarship, William Gurney. The William C. Stevenson Memorial Scholarship, Courtney Hanlon. The Whitman Republican Town Committee Lord Patrickin Memorial Scholarship, Ryan Hottenrot. The Charles White Memorial Scholarship, Jacob Hyde. The John Clark Memorial Scholarship, Derek Irving. Bernadette and Robert Ferguson Award, Stephanie Jones. <laughs> Quick Out of Body Award, Benjamin Joyce. <laughs> SSVT Parents Association Award, Matthew Lampert. <laughs> SSVT Parents Association Award, Audrey Laubacher. Cape Cod Lumber Award, Katie Lee Leonard. <laughs> Richard A. Fitz Memorial Scholarship, Alan McAllister. <laughs> Joshua Perry Memorial Scholarship, Patrick McClea. <laughs> Rockin Rockland Hanson Rotary, Tyler Martin. The Thomas Majerick Memorial Scholarship, Kaylee McKenney. Yeah. The Phoenix Masonic Lodge, the Tritown Rotary Scholarship, the Joshua Perry Memorial Scholarship, Rachel McNamara. Yeah. The Rockland Fraternal, Fraternal Order of Eagles, Rachel Milan. Leonard T. Cody, Matthew Murphy. Matthew Clancy Memorial Scholarship, Rachel Murphy.
SSVT Parents Association, Michael Perry. SSVT Parents Association, Angela Pucci. SSVT Parents Association, Alicia Quirk. SSVT Parents Association and Vikings Athletic Association, Olivia Switek. The Matthew Clancy Memorial Scholarship, Matthew Tompkins. The Bradley C. Dooley Memorial Scholarship, Peter Whalen. And finally, the Joshua Perry Memorial Scholarship, Cody Williams. Thank you, Mr. Aubrey. And now the moment you've been waiting for. <laughs> Diplomas will be given tonight by the members of our school committee, assisted by Amy Dow, guidance counselor. Good evening. It is my pleasure to introduce you to the class of 2014. <laughs> Peyton McKelly Brown. <laughs> Jacob Michael Hyde. Kaylee Elizabeth McKenney. Christina Lynn Brennan. Kimberly Joy Cadero. Daniel Morgan Akabadi. James Lee Aguirre. <laughs> William Christopher Alessi. <laughs> Kylie Elizabeth Bannister. <laughs> Angela Marie Banks. Daniel Matthew Best. Sean Francis Billings. Justin Edward Bonitatabis. Did I say it right? Is that right? Caitlin Elizabeth Boyle. Sean Michael Brady, Jr. Amanda Catherine Brown. Renee Michelle Burnett. Kenneth John Burns, Jr. Manning Burt. Okay. 
Daniel Joseph Campbell. Giovanna Marie Campitelli. Deanna Lillian Canada. Christopher Lee Cannon. Lisa Louise Carpenter. Catherine Bridget Cashman. Brittany Rose Chalmers. Erin Elizabeth Connolly. Michael Lawrence Cook. Shane Christopher Coughlin. Frederick Cruz. Patrick James Crowley. Nathan Richard Cunningham. Stephen Keith Curtis. Craig Francis D'Alessandro Jr. Patrick Elliot Daly. Taylor Claire Dardinsky. Joshua Edward David. Courtney Lynn Davio. <laughs> Trevor Albert DeBoer. Brendan Nicholas DeLima. Christopher Richard DeRussia. Tyler Scott Devlin. Frank Alexander DeFazio. Kayla Marie Dockendorf. Amanda Marie Domenico. Stephanie Ann Donovan. Joseph Tyler Dracchio. Devin Maurice Dupuy. Alex Fahey. Robert Leland Figgins III. Corey Michael Fitzgerald. Nadie Ellen Soares Franco. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Freeberg. <laughs> Zachary James Gardner. <laughs> Ian Brett 
Garland. Christine Alicia Getchell. Emily Danielle Gill. Brittany Ann Good. Lucas Joseph Goodwin. Eric Ronald Gorman. Christopher John Grazioso, Jr. William Alston Gurney. Elizabeth Jean Hammond. Courtney Michelle Hanlon. Matthew Colin Hogan. Ryan Nicholas Hottenrot. Charles Stephen Hubbard. Ashley Lynn Hugie. Derek Michael Irving. Christian Barnes Iverson. Kayla Marie Jackson. William Herbert Johnston. Stephanie Ann Jones. Benjamin Justin Joyce. Zachary Michael Jazokas. Christopher James Kearney. Austin Kang. Kaylin Marie Kakauskis. Jessica Louise Laxo. Matthew Edward Lampert. Audrey Rose Lawbacher. Katie Lee Leonard. Andrew Robert Lordry. Justina Haley Lowe. Kaylee Ann Lowe. Elizabeth Ann Lund. Alan Edward McAllister. Daniel McLean.
Jeremy David McClellan. Sarah Jane McVicker Hannon. Zoe Madison Mansfield. Corey Thomas Marcolini. <laughs> Tyler Joseph Martin. Trevor John McKinnon. Robert Joseph McLaughlin. Rachel Helena McNamara. Rachel Ann Mylan. Joseph John Mochio. Courtney Ann Mogan. Brandon Michael Murray. Brianna Lee Mortimer. <laughs> Emily Kate Murphy. <laughs> Matthew Tyler Murphy. Rachel Elizabeth Murphy. <laughs> Luana Rodriguez Neves. <laughs> Devin Scott Nickerson. <laughs> Alexandra Elizabeth O'Brien. Olivia Adeline O'Connell. <laughs> Ryan Joseph O'Rourke. <laughs> David Daniel Ortiz. <laughs> Thomas. James Osgood. <laughs> Michael J. Perry. <laughs> Angela Marie Pucci. <laughs> Alicia Christine Quirk. Robert Brian Richardson. <laughs> Jacob Riley. <laughs> Brendan Ripken Shea. <laughs> Daniel Michael Sheehan. Jane Shields. <laughs> Megan Jean Starkey. <laughs> Olivia Rose Switek. <laughs> Tom
Taylor Logan Terra. Matthew John Tompkins. Joshua Ryan Torrey. Rachel Lisa Traverse. Noel Johan Troop. Michael Anthony Valencia. Peter Bernard Whalen. Keely Jordan Wilkie. Cody James Williams. Cody Hunter Woodward. And last but certainly not least, Jahara Valeria Wynn. Graduates, will you please rise? And move your tassels. We're almost there. Under the regulations set by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, I now consider you graduates of the South Shore Vocational Technical High School, class of 2014.